MVP Mustafa Ali. So MVP's beating him up for a while, then he calls Lashley and Shelton to the ring. Lights flicker, Retribution appears on the screen, they hit ringside. MVP says, Ali, come on, help us out here. So Ali joins him to square off, and then he bails. Mace and T-Bar are on the ramp. Ali gets in their face. Hurt Business thinks this guy's the biggest idiot. But then Ali turns around and smiles and says, Get him! And Retribution destroys the Hurt Business. Ali is the leader of Retribution. Which is good. The guy can talk. They've got him yeah. in a position now. He can't just disappear to main event. So yeah, no, he's going he's gonna to have to be a player now. He's yes. going to be a guy because he's the leader of the group. So, but I w- but yes. that means we're going to start seeing these guys in six man tag team matches. Hopefully Dude, they- I am so fine with Hurt Business versus Retribution because I'm sick of seeing him against Rick Shane and Apollo Cruz. Yeah, four months of this, you're not going to be so you're not going to be so happy with it. But we also have to figure out like who's who. Are Retribution supposed to be baby faces now? Are Hurt Business baby faces? Are we going to be watching four months of a heel versus heel program? Yes. Unless Does that people mean get drafted. All of the above? Now wait, no, no. Here's the thing, though. Okay. Well, what if T Bar goes to SmackDown and Mace stays on Raw? Yeah. What if Retribution gets like you know broken up in the draft? I know they won't, but what if? Well, Dave, if this they didn't company... even they didn't even like bring this up as a possibility. Like they got a draft Friday, and they don't even go in there and goes, "We've got a draft on Friday." You know, like uh, you know these these partners. You know, like. The, the Hurt Business, they could be broken up. Or, you know, they don't even tell you stuff like this. Or Well, I don't you know. think they tell us because, like, 90% of the time, teams get drafted together, and occasionally a team will but randomly they be don't. split up in the draft. But and then could... there's also the whole thing where Retribution's whole gimmick is they're destroying Raw. What the fuck sense would it make for SmackDown to draft them? I don't know. But then, like, you, we don't know if Kevin Owens will be ever on the show again. Uh, we don't know if Seth Rollins will be on the show again. We don't know if Dominic Mysterio will be on the show again. We don't know if Drew McIntyre will get drafted. We don't know any of this. Tune in Friday. Find yes. out what's going to happen. We don't know if this brand-to-brand invitational is going to continue after the draft. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we do. What happened with people that got drafted and they were, like, the other the other side got, you know, what was that the term that they use where... A player to be named later. Future consideration or whatever. Future considerations, yeah, yeah. That never played out. Does Raw get three picks for every two SmackDown picks again? Yes, probably. Wow. We've had two years of drafts, and it's been that case in both years, so I would say, for you know, yeah, Raw gets three, SmackDown two, because Raw's three hours and SmackDown's two hours. It's absolutely stupid, but yes, we're going to move a bunch of guys around. You know, um, whatever. So can can like Raw Underground get drafted? Well, Raw Underground seems to be you can anybody can go there. Raw SmackDown NXT. There's no there's no need to draft anybody there. Okay. Yes. All right. I don't. I don't. Whatever. 